It, it's described as a sea of glass. Yep, yep. Right. It, which is the firmament. Yep. Yep. We all we are all sea creatures. We are, bro. You know, yeah. we came from the waters. And we're in the waters right now. Yeah, it's just a thin, a, layer. a thin layer of water. We're right. breathing water. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's right. oxygen. You know? right. That's right, bro. That's a real, bro. Beautiful. Verse 6. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up, up upon it. That, what is that great mountain, brother? Uh, no, he said he flew upon, upon it. Yeah, read it again. Read it again. Read it again. Verse 6. Listen. But I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain. This is a, this is what Edris is seeing. Okay. So he's describing it to the best visibility, you know? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Go ahead. And flew up upon it. All right, that's the word. Yeah, it flew up upon yeah, it? That's the word. Because it was so big that Ezra said, man, it must be a mountain, yeah. you know, <laughs> and that, that he, where did, where did he grave it out? You know, how did he cut it out, man? Yeah. Yeah. And then he looked around and seen there was no mountains missing. Yeah. He was like, well, what the hell is it? Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. You know it, it was a chariot, man, a yeah. chariot of the Lord. Yeah. You know, how the, how the yeah. angels travel, man. Yeah. The scriptures tell you that, that uh, the chariots of the Lord are 20,000. Even thousands and thousands of angels, man. Okay. Verse seven. But I would have seen the region or place where uh, where out the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to, to subdue him were were sore afraid, and yet durst fight. Yeah. See, that's the Lord making them fight, man, because they was afraid when they saw it. You yep. know. Imagine seeing seeing a, a, a chariot as big as this city, Woo! you know, and you trying to fight it, in a, in, and you look like a, a damn mosquito going up to <laughs> going up against it and shit. Your knees were buckling. You know, <laughs> that's what you're gonna look like, man. Uh, how you Edomites gonna deal with that, man? <laughs> how how you uh, nations gonna deal with that, man? They kill themselves and shit. Right. Right. You know they suicidal anyway. Oh heck yeah. Yeah, they suicidal. You know what I'm saying? Man. <laughs> you, you gotta be suicidal to think you're gonna go up against the, the, the Heavenly Father Son, man. Yep, yep. You, you gotta be insane. Yep. You gotta be uh, uh, deranged, retarded. Right. Uh, Everything, man. All that, man. If you think you're gonna, if you think you're gonna uh, 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 attempt, man, yep. to, to prevail against the Most High Son, man. Yep. Right. But he got another thing coming for you people, man. Right. You got another thing coming for these armies, these, uh, these governments, man. Everything about to be put down, man, and, and, and righteousness. It's about to uh, flow all through this planet Earth, man. Yep, and it's gonna be the, the Negro Latino Native American man ruling again. Uh, believe, right. believe it or not. Yep, believe it or the not. The children of Israel. The children of Israel. You, you so-called Negroes out here. You are uh, you Hispanics, a Native Indian descent, and you so-called Native American Indians, man. You, you're the, uh, the the elect of you is a uh, 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 what's about to be uh, ruling this planet Earth, man, underneath uh, Yahweh Shai. And our in our in our king, man. Yeah. Right. And, that's our, right, and our king that's about to be back on his throne, man. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's right, bro. And things are gonna be done righteously, man, in a righteous manner. No more having to go to work nine to five and, and just just to barely get by. You yeah. see, what people don't realize is that these devils that rule this world right now, they got everybody in, in servitude, man. Everybody yeah. is in tax is a is a tax slave here, man. Yeah. But you don't even know it because yeah. what they've done is they've taken those chains. From off our off off our wrist and, and feet, and they put it into our mind. They attached it to our to our wallets, yep. to our to our stomachs. By way of right? contracts, right? Exactly, man. Mm -hmm. They've tri they've tricked us, and they tricked the generations before us into thinking that it was a benefit. That hey, you know what? If you get a social security number instead of getting paid outright, this will help you later. You can retire on this. Mm -hmm. But what does that do? do? It makes you into a, a person, a a, a, a leak, which is a, a legal fiction, oh, okay, okay. right? A, a, a person is a is another uh, is a legal entity, which means when you work, your driver's license, whatever, it's not you that's actually getting paid. It's your person, this legal entity, and the government controls that entity, man. That's why they can tax you as much as they want. They can make they can tell you that you can no longer work if you don't follow their laws, and that's how ultimately we're getting we're getting robbed, right? Because you see, because you see these devils here, they they they, they want more for themselves. And like George Carlin said a long time ago, this comedian, he says they want more. They're gonna, they're gonna get your retirement, and ultimately they want your 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 flesh and blood. They want your soul, right? Yeah, because you see these devils, they're not, they, they don't need money. 
they make the money, right? But they want they want your soul because their 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 boss, their master, who is Satan, is has given them a charge to collect the souls of the, of you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians. And how are they going to do that? They're going to make you get an RFID uh, chip implanted in, in you, your children. Everybody. If you want to go to church or if you want to go to school, your kid's going to need a chip. Let me grab that. This RFID is, chip. This is, this is the Revelation, chapter 13, beginning at verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom, let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, three score and six. That's it. That's it. That's the universal product code, man, yep. that they use on all the products across the whole globe, yep. really. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Everything. And, and it, it, it's the mark of the beast, man. Right. And so they're going to take it from, from putting on clothes and putting in animals yep. to, to putting it in humans, man. Yep. This is the next step, man, to yep. showing your allegiance to Satan. Yep. You know, if you get this, you're done. Done. You're done, done. Yep. You know. This is, this is the final. This is the final test, according to the scriptures. Yep. This is it right here. This is going to test your faith whether you're on the heavenly Father's side or whether you're on the world side. Just yep. put it right. straight for it. Right. So if you take this thing though, there's prophecy according to Revelation 14, 9 and 10 that you're going to be destroyed. Uh, you're going to be destroyed severely. Yeah. Severely. Yeah. All right, and this is exactly the society that we're moving towards. That's why you don't got cash in your, in your wallet right now. Yep. And you yep. have you have you have money <laughs> on your card, your debit yep. card, whether you have an RFID chip in it yep. or whatever the case is, because this is where we're moving towards. Yep. And this is going to be the this is the test that Heavenly Father going to use against all you people. Yep. And in that day, you're going to see that you don't really love the Heavenly Father. Right. Right. Yep. You're going to see it when death is in your face. Yep, because you didn't build up your faith, man. <laughs> this is the time right now to, 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 build up, to build up your faith, man. So when the, when the tribulation comes, you can refer back to the scriptures. You can refer back to the Lord giving you instructions on how to be in that time, man. So you can ha get salvation, man. You don't have to give in to the forces and the, the, the will of the devil, man, because that's the devil coming up to you with great vengeance, man, because he know he has but a short time, man. Right, right. This, is, uh, this is Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High. What is the mark? What's the mark, Akio? That's that, that chip. chip. That chip. Yeah. Well, we know we just left last year. The head of the nation of Israel coined the year, uh, the year Paragma. We know that, which the Greek word Paragma, when you look up mark, right there, you got to, it, it's, 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 uh, the, it goes back to the Strong's, <laughs> which is written in the Greek, which is, the Greek word is Paragma, which means an imprinted mark, a stamp, all right? And then it has a, it has a, the word, the Greek word parachma has a root to it that goes back to a Greek meaning, a Greek word parox, which means a pail, a stake, or a syringe. Yes. All right, because the way that you get the RFID chip is through a syringe. Yep. Okay. And, and a stake goes into you. And a stake goes into you. Yes. That's why parachma is the stamp or the, the brand. Parox is the... Karach is the syringe, how you get it put in you. And then, off of the Greek word karax, there's a root on that. And it goes back to the Greek word, Greek word grapho, which means the, word, the Greek word grapho means to commit to writings or to hold a record. Which this RFID chip, that's exactly what it do. It has to hold all your information, medical, financial, personal, your name, your social, do you got diabetes? Are you type A blood? You know? Are you and a how felon? much money you got? Are you a felon? How much money do you have? Yep. Right. 
And this is a form or a way that RFID chip is a form or a way of the, of the so-called white man or the government, however you want to say it, for the scary people, you can say the government, but we're going to say the white man. That's the way he's going to be able to track you. Because the so-called white man, guess what he wants to be on the planet Earth? He wants to be God. You know? But we're going to put you on blast. You ain't, you ain't God. And the right. scriptures clearly tell us that you're not. Right. You ain't nothing but a man. And guess what kind of man? A base man. A base, base one. <laughs> base man at that. Right? The only father called the, the so-called white man the basest man on the planet Earth. The Lord. Right. All day week. And the devil. At that. See, when we say that, all we're doing is um, regurgit re um, re uh, regurgitating, I guess you could say. Regurgitating what the Lord said. Or reiterating. We're just saying, we're just reiterating what the most I said. That's right. You know? We just relate as the ambassador. Yeah. Or the oracles. Or the prophets. Yeah. We just got a message, man. That's why I keep going. Back in verse 10. Matter of fact, let's get a third sign holder because this brother over here. <laughs> let's get a third man. When did the postman fall? And then uh, Phil. Let's do it. It says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which, is poured, over there, which yeah. is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented. Read it again for the top, bro. Now, this is Revelation chapter 14, verse 10. It says, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. So if you take that RFID chip, you ain't going to be living good. I don't care. Oh. There's already, there's already documented cases that people who took the RFID chip. Now, it's going through all type of weird body changes and effects. Whether it be they're hearing a, a they're hearing that, you know that, but it's all day. They hear that all day. Or they, they, it's creating a rash around their arm. Like the, there's a, there's one of these new school rappers who's weak as hell. His name is, um, what's the dude? Kid Boo. The dude took the RFID chip out of his body on on, on, on YouTube. Talking about how it's irritating and all that sh and everything. You know? So the people who do take the RFID chip for the meanwhile they thought they got away, they're gonna be getting tormented by it, bro. The left hand side angel gonna be fucking with you, man. But then you're gonna have the ultimate after that fact. You're gonna have the RFI, you're gonna not the, you're gonna have the missiles come. That the Heavenly Father has destined for this place, and you're gonna be left right here to cook. This is some serious stuff, man. We don't look when we when you come to the truth, you come to the understanding of this Bible, you got this word up, you gotta be real about this thing. All these other camps they like to be all flashy and they like to um basically play around as if you already in the kingdom. We're not in the kingdom, man. Right. We still got tests to go through, we still got slight we're not off punishment yet. But it say through much tribulation shall you enter into the kingdom of the heavenly exactly. father. Yeah. So they expect not to go through no type of tribulation <laughs> because they found out, oh, well, shit, we're the Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. So we good. No. 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 Now you, 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 you're, still, you're still on punishment, yeah. per se. The most I still, he still got a couple of more licks, man, to get in on you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he's doing, man. And that's what we got. That's right. That's why we get brothers ready for that. We don't care about how you looking all man, fuck all that shit. Yeah. Where your mind at, bro? Yeah. Cause it's gonna come to a point where this society's gonna crash. Yeah. Then everybody look the same. Right. Yeah. But not everybody mind gonna be the same. Because everybody wasn't taking the truth how it's supposed to be took it. Right. right. You know? Yeah. Hey, rent your rent, uh, rent, uh, rent your heart and not your garments, you know? As the scripture said, I think it was Paul speaking saying the way that we gave you the truth, you took it as truth, knowing that it didn't come of us, of men. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That you knew that it was the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Yeah. These are the words of the Heavenly Father that we're speaking. <laughs> we're not coming out here with our own agenda. We don't have an agenda. Our agenda is that of the Lord, man. That's right. Uh, and and man's goings are of the Lord, yeah. okay? Yeah. And we're not worried about sounding nice to you either. Yeah. I don't care about sounding nice. Am I talking the real? Right. right. That's what I care about here. We ain't, if a woman, a bad woman walk by, we're not going to tone down anything to, to please this woman. You know what I mean? We're going to keep it rock solid because 
If we don't keep it rock solid, the Heavenly Father gonna get us. Right, right. exactly so. And I'm good. Why, why would I chance myself over you? The right. scripture said, Harley will a righteous man die for, you know? In other words. So we're not gonna compromise our salvation for you. We're gonna keep it raw. Right. right. Why trimmest thou away, man? To seek love. To yeah. seek love. Right. You know, we're not gonna trim our ways, man. <laughs> and our ways of the Heavenly Father, man. Yep. Our ways are of the spirit of this of the Lord, which is the spirit of prophecy, to tell you exactly what's going to happen, man, before yeah. it happens. To give you warning. Give them warning for me. Yeah. Okay? Not for, for me or this brother, this brother. This this warning is coming from the Heavenly Father, man. Right, right. And it will behoove you to take heed. But if you yeah. don't, then, you know, welcome yourself to the two, two thirds club, you know, and get ready to be that damn baked chicken. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Right. Jake like chicken, don't right. you? Like chicken. Right. Like chicken, well, you're gonna, you're gonna be a chicken. That burger, yeah. that over, overcooked chicken. Overcooked. Yeah. Damn, I done fucked this up. <laughs> you can just be fucked up. Back in Revelation uh, chapter 14, reading going to verse 10, it says that he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and what's in the, the presence the, of the Lamb. What's the fire and the brimstone? Brimstone is sulfur. Right. Yeah. All right? Fire and brimstone is going to cook you, which is the, these nuclear missiles. Get the, get the actual, what did that brother slap up? With the, uh, this brother, uh, come on, slap up the missile one. Y'all keep the other ones up, though. That's going to be the, that's going to turn you into, uh, that's the fire and brimstone. The Heavenly Father rained down fire and brimstone once upon a time without the technology of a missile. That's right. Yeah. Yep. And he saw have evidence, the Edomite has evidence of that being so. Yep. Which it was a, a sulfur that was 90, 98, I think it was 98 pure sulfur. Yep. 98% pure sulfur and then 2% like helium or something like that. Yep. Meaning that the Most High made sure yeah, yeah, yeah. that it was going to be cooked. Yep. That's right. No, he nuked it without the nuke. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but now the Most High got something for you that's 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 actually tangible. Yeah. And it's going to be in the form of a nuclear missile. Yeah. And when it touch down, you will be cooked. That's right. Hey, that's just like uh, they call it when, or not? when you put something in the microwave. What they say, you nuking it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be like a microwave out here, man. Yep. You know, the Lord's going to send that wave of, of heat and destruction. Even if you don't get the, the blast itself, the wave, man, that wave of destruction, man, that, that heat that's coming from it, man, it's going to melt you. It says you shall melt a your flesh shall melt upon your feet. Who, who want to be involved in that? You know, who wants to be involved in that when you have the chance to get these scriptures, man, to get yourself right? You know, the Lord is extending mercy yeah. to you through the men of the Lord, man. You got the chance to gain salvation, man. Exactly. These are those mercy. These are those, these are those mercy doors that are open, that are fastly closing before the, uh, the, the, the start of all those things that are happening, people. You see, because what's happening right now is that the, this, this right here is, is the uh, little... The little uh, opening that the Lord's giving to those people who are going to wake up. See, because all the all the brothers here, and all you brothers that are listening, and 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 sisters that are listening to these videos, you guys are building up that faith. Because you see, when the devil comes comes to you with this mark of the beast, and he's not going to come to you and be like, "Oh, take this. This is the mark of the beast." You know, right. come come to Satan's side. No, you know what he's going to do? He's going to be real slick about it. I'm going to give you an example about this. If you it, just over this winter break. The, the a school district in Seattle told all the uh, all their children, your children cannot come back to school right. unless they're vaccinated, yep. right? <laughs> now, what happened early, earlier this uh, last year or late last year? They, Microsoft they, came out yeah. and they partnered with the vaccination company, saying, you know what? We're gonna be we're gonna be able to verify vaccinations through a through a microchip, right? So what's gonna happen is these now mandatory vaccinations that are at, in Seattle, they're going to they're gonna get tired of taking records on paper and they're going to say, you know what? We're going to go ahead and start taking these these chips to verify that you already got these these uh, vaccinations. And that's how these devils are going to be trying to be slick and slide that in. And you see those people who haven't who haven't uh, decided that that the Bible's for them. They haven't decided to uh, 
to fully hear out what we have to say, they're not going to get no chance to build up their faith. And what we mean by faith is we're talking about their understanding, right? When you understand that these devils' main purpose is to chip you, to claim your soul, then you're going to then you're going to be a little bit more apprehensive when they come to you saying, "Hey, look, your children needs these this RID chip so we can track their vaccinations." You're going to understand that there's something fishy about it, man. Yeah. Check it out, though, bro. Uh, uh, we got all this tension going on with these nations. He's going to push it to you as a matter of national security, man. Yeah, yeah. That's and that, 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 that's, that's how you're going to cause all these people to take it, man. Yeah. And if you don't, what's going to happen to you? You're going to have your head found in, the, in a guillotine somewhere, yeah. man. That's yeah. right, bro. Yeah, that's but right. he, he smoothed it out at first, saying that it's a medical miracle. Right, right. You know, <laughs> it's a yeah. this is a miracle because yeah. now this guy, you know, who, who couldn't walk, we put a we put a chip in him, and now he's walking. So don't you want the chip? You know what I'm saying? Don't you? Witchcraft. Don't you want it? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you remember, remember that uh, Bay State? Yeah. yeah. He he the mic. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Twelve Bay yeah. State. They killed the dude. They, they, they killed the dude. He was he was explosive, man. Yeah. You know that chip in the little commercial he had. Oh, all of that, man. Right. Yeah. They took him out. Yeah. You got this right here, bro. This is uh, Psalms 55 and 21. It says, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His yep. words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Right. And, 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 and that's his Edomite, man. He, he, come, he comes as a, as a nice man, you know, clean, stupid, tied, yep. peaceful. But 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 his words doesn't match matches his, uh, his actions, man. Right. His actions are all about, about war, deception, right. death. Yep. Cause when you take that chip, you're you're like I said before, you're this saying that right? you're you're in a league with it's Satan, it. man. Yep. Selling your soul. You know, you're selling your soul. Yeah. That's right. Exactly. Yep. You're you know. Yep. So yep. he's giving it to you like, yeah, this is something nice for you, you know. But really, that's those are drawn swords because you're going to get affected by that and destroyed by taking. it. And he knows that. And he know it. Yeah. He know the Heavenly Father is against that. that man, come on, man. They've been Revelation. They've been talking about Revelation since the, since I ever fucking been born, man. You know? yeah. I remember hearing about Revelations when I was in the elementary school. And I remember hearing in elementary school that they was gonna try to chip, try to chip uh, everybody. And I didn't know what the hell this dude was talking about. I don't even remember what the dude looked like. It was so damn long ago. But I, I was thinking, like, man, what the fuck is that? I was in elementary school, man. You know. So Esau ass knows what he's doing, and he's still gonna try to get you to do it. But that's a devil, like the scripture. Oh, uh, not not the scripture, but like the saying go, misery love company. You know? That's right. Miserable Esau want everybody to go down with him. Right. If he can't have it, nobody can't have it. This is what we're dealing with here, man. And it's been it's already been exposed what he wants to do, but he himself can't even stop. Yeah. Because it's prophecy. Yeah. Right. Who can resist his will? Yeah. Right. right. Just like on the movie, I think yeah. with Passion of the Christ, yeah. when they were sitting at the table, and the Lord was like, whoever eats this bread is going to betray me. Then he picked it up and put it in Judas' mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and Judas was just sitting there. You can't do nothing, you can't man. Do it, man. You know? Let me grab this. <laughs> right. Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Who's that enemy, brothers? Who's Esau, that enemy? Esau, Esau, man. That's right, bro. Esau, Edom. Like the scripture say, the mark of the beast. The beast is, is who? The NATO and the EU. Yeah. That's the beast. Yeah. This, this man's power structure. I have a question. What's the question? What's the question? We're in 2022. Back then, that was our enemy. Who our enemy now? The white man's still our enemy. Nah, the one who don't got love for us, our enemy. Who is that? Who's that? Who don't got? Cause we don't got time to play. No, 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 no game. No, 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 no. no I believe you, in God. you better be serious. I believe in God. Better be serious, bro. Not but God, man. All God. right, then, then get serious with your whatever your, your comment is. No, he's the Edomite is that the white man? He's biblically known as the Edomite. He is the enemy. I'm not saying that, sir. I don't dispute that. Okay. I understand, I understand that knowledge. All right. I said I'm in 20, 2020. Who is my enemy now, sir? Who's your enemy? Tell me. In a, bro, it could be you, me, or him. Anyone oh, that's on my level that's is it. not. That's it. Okay. Look, bro, the best thing for you to do is listen because you fell in miserable. White man. Right. You know what? This is, is what back in trouble. Right. No, no. Yeah, leave that dude alone, now. Leave him alone. He ain't, he ain't, you know, he, he, he's, 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 he's a uh, student. He's a student. 
that don't want to be a student. That's right. It that want to teach. Right, right. It's all good. This is uh, Sirach 12 and 11. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. The scriptures say, cast not your pearls before swine. When you have a discernment, you start seeing that swine. You just, when it does that, just press back and then it's live and it resumes. That was swine right there. Come on, listen up. You gotta listen because you don't know what's going on on this plane. Yeah. He, probably, he probably don't know that um, the Iranian commander just got killed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> it's back in Sirach 12 and 10. Never yeah. trust thy enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. It's always the white man too, man. Right. Jake's always trying to divert right. from Esau. Yeah. You know, yeah. any any uh, uh, friction with Esau, man. Yes. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. This man, yeah. this man is standing on being your enemy, man. Yeah. This man did all this shit to us, and he's standing on it. He's running away from it. Right. Right. They uh, have, they have ruled Jake so long. Jake can't see any other people ruling over them, yeah. man. They can't even see the Chinese ruling over them. It's got to be the white man. Yeah. Natural okay. order of things. They, they, that's all they know. It's, it's, it's generational trauma. Right. Yep. And that's right. what it is. And that's why the heavenly Father, he's about to come in and set fire and do away with all that shit, man. Yep. yep. Right. Yeah, yeah, for, yeah. for his for his people to 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 to, to, to hold on to a, a, a devil a be, being a, a, a caretaker man. And his white people are, are everyone's enemy, man. Yeah, yeah man. Right. You are, you are and the whole plan don't like yeah. you. Yeah. No, that's right. Right. no, that is what it is. It's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. Hey, the world.